Kanna Babu. In this video, we will discuss about frame tags in HTML. So, we already discussed a subset of series of videos I have done on HTML. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Okay, just uh, go to YouTube and type HTML by Kanna Babu. So, you can watch all my HTML videos. So, today we will discuss about frame tags in HTML. Let us see what is this frame tags. Frame tags are generally used to divide the web page into more than one part. If you open Gmail, you can see your Gmail web page into different parts. In the top, uh, you can see the Gmail logo. Left bar, you can see inbox, entry items, straps, compose mail. And here you can see the content. So practically, I will demonstrate how to work with frame tags in HTML. Okay, we will continue. So here frame tags are generally used to divide the web page into more than one part. Okay, now let us assume this is my web page. So here let us see what is this frame tags. Frame tags are used to divide the web page into more than one part. Here we can divide the web page into either into horizontal parts or into vertical parts. If you want to divide the web page into horizontal parts, you have to use rows attribute and vertical parts, we have to use calls attribute. Okay, now let us see here. For example, if you consider this is my web page. Now I will try to, I want to divide my web page into two parts. So here what to do means, let us consider the entire web page is 100 percentage. Let us, web page means in browser, I want to divide my browser web page into two parts, two horizontal parts. So let us consider this uh, first part is 25 percentage and the second part is 75 percentage. So here each part of the web page is called as frame and each frame should be identified with some name. That name must be cage sensitive. Similarly, the other part of the web page is also called as frame. That frame should be identified with some name and that name must be case sensitive. So initially my website I will consider as 100 percentage and I will divide the web page into two portion 25 percentile and 75 percentile. Each part of the web page is called as frame. Each frame should be identified with some name. So here let us see I will try to do one small. Uh, so in order to work with frame set frame tags first of all I will open frame set rows is equal to 25 percentile comma 75 percentile and here frame set tag is a container tag which contains starting element and ending element so here close the frame set tag and each part of the web page is called as frame and each frame should be identified with some name and that name must be case sensitive similarly the other part of the web page is also called as frame that frame should be identified with some name that name must be case sensitive now i'll try to save the program here I will try to go to desktop, there I will try to save the program, the name of the program I will give as frame row dot html, save. Okay na, so here let us see here, is it clear, I will try to minimize it and here also I will try to minimize and let us see, I will go to my desktop, there you can see my program is saved with frame row dot html, so open this frame, so you can see this uh, total web page is divided into two portions. This is A part and this is B part. The top part is 25 percentage and the bottom part is 75 percentage. This is how you can divide the web page into two horizontal parts. So if you want to divide the web page into two vertical parts, instead of rows attribute, you can use calls attribute. Frame set calls is equal to 25 percentile comma 75 percentile. Give some name for each part. Okay, now save the program. I control S and again you refresh this one. You can see your web page is divided to vertical parts. This is A part and this is B part. So now, uh, if you want to divide the web page into three parts, if you want to divide the web page into three parts, what to do? First of all, you have to divide the web page into two horizontal parts. Two horizontal parts, this is A part and the other one is B part. And here you have to give the name for this particular first part. I will give some name, frame name is equal to A. And here you divide the web page into two portions as I told you. First portion is 20, 20, 25 percentile and uh, second one is 75 percentile. So here each part of the web page is called as frame and each frame should be identified with some name. This is 25 percentile and this is 75 percentile. Are you following? So now what to do for that what how to write the code. First of all open frame set tag. Here you have to mention rows is equal to. 25 percentile comma 75 percentile is it clear frame set rows is equal 25 percentile comma 75 percentile and here you can close the frame set tag 
close frame set tag and each part of the web page is called as frame and each frame should be identified with some name that name must be case sensitive okay na and again the second part second part again 75 percentage now you consider this second part as 100 percentage and again divide this second part into two parts and give the name for each part this is 25 percentile and the other part is 75 percentile though the second part is 75 again you consider as 100 percentage and again divide into two parts 25 and 75 so for that what to do here you have to uh, uh, divide the web page into two vertical parts so you have to use calls attribute so again you have to write what frame set attack here you can again open what frame set attack here you can give calls is equal to here 25 percentile comma 75 percentile is it clear so here each part of the web page is called as frame each frame should be identified with some name here also close the frame set tag is it clear now this portion of the web page is called as frame that frame you have to give some name i'll give as b this is c so again you can open which tag frame tag here you can open frame tag here i'll try to give uh, something like name name is equal to i'll give as b and here again i will open one more frame the name i will try to give as c each part of the web page is called as frame each frame should be identified with some name okay na? now your web page is divided into three parts let us practically check this one by writing the code so here i will try to open first of all i will give frame set and here i will give something like rows frame set rows is equal to 25 percentage and uh, 75 percentage and each part of the web page is called as frame each frame should be identified with some name and here you can write one more frame set here you can mention what calls here i'll try to give calls is equal to 25 percentile comma 75 percentile here also you can give the name for the frame the name of the frame i'll give as b here i'll give the name as b and again i'll give the name as c now here i'll try to save the program go to file click on save as go to your desktop here you can give the name of the frame as main frame i will save main frame dot html save okay na? Now here you can see, uh, I'll try to open this one uh, mainframe.html, open in the browser. Now your web page is divided into three parts. This is A part, B part and what? C part. Okay, na? but we cannot directly display the content in the frame tags. If you want to display any content in the frame tags, we have to uh, uh, create a separate HTML program. So here let us see what I will do. I'll create one. Uh, folder on my desktop the name of the folder i'll give as html and i'll try to save this mainframe.html in this folder this is my i think already html folder is there i'll try to create something like html 2020 i will create and here i'll try to save this uh, uh, file my mainframe.html in this folder now as i told you that we cannot directly display the content in the browser if you want to display any content in here, I want to display some content on A part. Then we have to write a separate HTML program and import the program within your frame tags. So here, let us see. See, if you want to watch my videos, you can just go to YouTube and there you can type HTML by Kanababu in YouTube. You can get my YouTube channel. Please try to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Is it clear? And, and here you click on this bell icon. And uh, recently I uh, started one more channel, Kannababu Python. If you just click, you can watch my Python videos also. And try to subscribe to that channel also, Introduction to Python. And I will uh, planning to start some more videos. Don't forget to subscribe. It is a new channel. It requires more subscriptions, likes, shares, and click on the bell icons for new updates. Okay, na? So now here, as I already discussed that we cannot directly display the content on HTML. We have to write a separate HTML program and we need to import the program within the frame tags. So here I will try to open notepad. Is it clear? Here I will try to open notepad. And within this notepad, I will try to open one H1 tag. H1 means it, if you want to display the fonts in a different format within the browser, then you have header tags are there. So here we have headings. Here I want to display some uh, name. 
something like some world of html i'll display and this is h1 tag and here i will try to open h2 and the it will display the content in different fonts h1 and h2 and in h2 what i will do in h2 i will try to display some uh, content something like html is used to display content on browser display content on browser some small website we are displaying and i want to display the content in the center of the web page in html you have center tag so open center tag and here you can close what center tag okay na? and here i'll try to save this program go to your desktop there you can see html 2020 and here you can uh, save the program with something like header header dot html save okay now so here you can see i'll try to open my browser uh, desktop there you can see uh, header dot html but i want to you can open if you want world of html html is used to display the content on browser that's it and apart from but my requirement is i want to display this uh, header dot html inside a part so here what to do open mainframe dot html within the a part here you can mention src source is equal to here you can give header dot html save the program and here you can see mainframe dot html you try to refresh and uh, i have saved with header dot html right and here also i have to give mainframe i have to give the same frame name is equal to a src is equal to header dot html okay now and here i'll try to open my frame tags refresh why it is not coming here i will try to give src src is equal to i'll give as header dot html just to save it now here you can open your uh, html 2020 folder open mainframe dot html now here it will display the content in the a part world of html some content if you want to scroll that content in the browser you can use mark v tag in html you have mark v tag you can use h2 i want to uh, rotate right so here what to do here you can use mark you like any news scrolling news you can see because of this mark you tag only it is also a container tag which contains starting element as well as ending element okay na? now let us see your browser here you can see now the content will scroll okay now from left to right by default the content will what scroll so html main purpose is to display the content on browser okay now in the b part i want to display some hyperlinks so here i will try to write a separate program something like link.html for that i will open anchor tag href is equal to destination url and here you can close the anchor tag close the anchor tag and here you can see two three four five something like this here i will try to give some text as home here i'll try to give text as about us and here i'll try to give some text as contact us and here i'll try to give the text as some youtube and here i'll try to give some text as some python and here i'll try to give some text as some um, some other text you can give any other text home about us contact us etc now here i'll give the url i'll save i'll give some url home.html whenever user clicks on home it has to go to home.html similarly whenever user clicks on about us it has to go to about us.html contact us it has to go to contact us.html contact us.html so i will save this program as link.html link.html now go to your uh, mainframe.html and here you can mention the src in b part b part i want to display now src is equal to here i'll try to give the name as link.html save this program and once open your mainframe here you can refresh is it clear here you can open mainframe.html once you can open your browser and check the output refresh Oh, it is not coming one minute here i'll try to go to my uh, this one html 2020 folder open mainframe.html 
so here i want to display the output in b part here i have to give some space before src is src means source so here now open your browser and here you try to refresh yeah so sorry here i need to write this src in b part in b part you have to write because i want to display this link.html in b part not here okay so once you can uh, check the output refresh you can see the hyperlinks you can display in b part if you want to give some more space for the hyperlinks here if you want to display the hyperlinks in big font here you can open h2 tag and here you can close h2 tag here you can close what h2 tag you can close h2 and open h2 here so here we cannot directly display the content in the frame tags if you want to display the content in the frame tags we need to write a separate html program and import that program within the frame tags so now i want to develop a simple website where i want to divide my web page into three parts one is header other one is left bar other one is side bar right bar so i want to display the logo in a part so if you want to display any content in the a part then we need to write a separate html program and we need to import that program within the frame tags so we are developing a simple website by using html tags along with frame tags let us see how to develop that one but uh, how to display the how to divide the web page into two parts and mainframe.html and here you see this is your a part b part and c part so here i want to display the you know, link tags i will give a display in big font so i will open h2 tag and here i will try to give two brs so that you will get two spaces okay this is link.html save it now once you refresh you can see home about us contact us similarly youtube python now here when you click on home it has to go to home page so here what to do you have to create a separate html page that is home.html so here you can see something like i will try to create one more h1 tag and here close h1 tag and here you can write something like welcome to home page welcome to home page save the program as home.html okay the name i will give as welcome to about a space welcome to about a space okay na save the program save the program with about us dot html okay about us dot html go to you can go to link dot html now once you see the output how it will display see whenever i click on home it will go to home page welcome to home page and welcome to about a space but i want to display the home page in c part so in that case what to do go to link dot html and here you have to mention one option one attribute called a target here you can mention an attribute called target is equal to c it means that whenever user clicks on home it has to display home dot html in c part here also you can mention target is equal to c okay here you can mention target is equal to c save it now once you can check the output open mainframe dot html and here you can click home so welcome to home page about a space contact us space so this is how you can uh, develop a simple website by using html it is a static web page so in this video we discussed about frame tags in the next video i'll try to discuss about form tags and how to create the registration pages and all the other things please try to subscribe to my channel and uh, share the videos right thank you have a nice day